Hey, hey guys, welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. Uh, today is Twisted Tuesday, so naturally I do a Milena's Thailand M Scrap Busters Challenge, okay? So I would normally do one on a Tuesday anyway, except yesterday I did her, um, the envelope pocketed album thingy was a challenge from a subscriber and it wasn't an m scrap busters challenge so you're looking at my desk right now and here it is a pile of scraps what am i going to do with all of this about four weeks ago melena made a belly band which consisted of all her scraps but it was a tuckable belly band so you could tuck a bunch of things into it i decided to make one for my fall or autumn gratitude junk journal so here is what it looks like um, on the inside this was a nice little page spread that I did the other day here's a little um, bookmark here's some um, Halloween stuff so yeah this is just gonna embellish my autumn fall um, junk journal okay so I'm just gonna find a page anywhere in here that's not already decorated I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper. This is just plain cardstock that I inked around the edges and I rounded the corners with my small corner rounder or small setting. So I guess that's about four millimeters. And um, this right here is a little small, but I think I can work with it to make a little belly band that'll tuck here on um, this page. So what I want to do is first show you my prototype, which is... I just used up as many scraps as I can find, and this is what I came up with. So, um, sort of similar to the one that Milena made, I used some plain blue cardstock, scrap cardstock from uh, making envelopes, if you remember this project. Um, so, yeah, I just used up some scrap paper that I had on my desk. Um, Scott, uh, cardstock and um, started gluing papers to it. So Milena had specific instructions on how to achieve this. Basically, you're going to take a piece of your scrap and it has to measure two and a half inches wide. Okay, so that's where we'll start in addition to the blank cardstock or the base cardstock that you're going to glue everything to. So this again is just some of my scraps. I just went ahead and did the score marks the way Milena told us to do it in her M Scrap Busters Challenge. And I'm gonna try to re recreate this. So let's do that. So go grab your scraps guys and come back here because we're gonna do this. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we are gonna start with our base cardstock. This is just plain white cardstock. I believe it has a shiny finish on one side and a matte finish on the other. So I am going to use the matte side of this piece of cardstock. I know not everybody has that, but it really doesn't matter what you use. The only thing that really matters is that this measures two inches. Okay, so it's two inches wide and it's however tall you need it to be to fit into your junk journal. Here's another one. This one's even shorter, okay? So it doesn't matter how long you have it. Um, it's just that it, it should fit into your junk journal. Now, if you wanna do a belly band that goes across this way, it should fit the width of your junk journal, all right? So let's just get started with this. I just took a bunch of my scraps and scored them down. So I'm gonna show you what I did, how I got that. Let me get my tiny score buddy here. All right, so first of all, you wanna make sure that your image, if it's directional, it's facing the right side up. And all you need is about two and a half inches to start. So I'm gonna grab my little score tool and I'm gonna score right here at two and a half inches. And I'm gonna cut that away because we don't need it. As straight as can be, all right? So that measures now two and a half inches. No, that's not straight at all. <laughs> okay, now it should measure two and a half inches, all right? So you're gonna go ahead and score over here at a quarter, just a quarter. And then you're gonna score it over here at two and a quarter. Okay. So this right here should now measure two inches. 
so from here all you really need to do is tear your top edges if you want it torn if you want it straight ahead uh, straight across that's fine also or you can just take it to your um, your little hole punch and punch a little circle punch in there and you'll have the same thing right so I'm just gonna tear mine because I like the look of the torn edge as well as it's going in a junk journal so I guess you know the shabbier the better <laughs> um, so yeah I'm just gonna tear across here across the top and I'm gonna get this little jagged edge that I will ink so I'm just gonna use whatever's on my dauber I'm not even dipping it in ink I'm going to fold over those score marks and ink that, fold over that and ink there. For the most part, you won't need to ink the bottom unless this is the bottom page of your, um, this is the bottom section of your uh, belly band, right? So if you want to ink that last page down there, go for it. But for the most part, the ones in the middle will not need to be inked. But what you do need to do is cut away your corners because we're trying to reduce down the bulk because these are going to be layered on top of each other throughout the length of the belly band. So again, I'm doing this for my fall gratitude journal or my autumn gratitude journal. So I'm just grabbing pieces that look like fall, look like autumn. Um, Here's a nice little pumpkin for the bottom section here. Okay, so you're just layering these one on top of the other and getting them all in here as best you can without them hooking on each other. So this right here is going to give us a little gusset so that we can tuck a bunch of things in there. All right, so again, I'm just placing them all on top of here. Here's a nice little pumpkin as well. So he can go right up there. I'm going to leave some room at the top for a sentiment as I did on this one. I didn't round the corners on this one either. So um, this one just says, I feel lucky. And there's all kinds of little things in there that are tucked in. Some book page, uh, a couple of little little sentiments okay so yeah all of that's just gonna go right here like so and if this is gonna be my bottom pumpkin I've already cut away my edges I'm gonna round this corner with a small corner rounder and then once you've done that I can snip away a little bit more of my of my angled edge. You just don't want it showing when you glue it all down. Okay, so once that's done, I will re ink the bottom section, and that's gonna go right down here at the very bottom. Oh, that looks cute. Very, very cute. Okay, so I want my um, top section inked just a little bit more. I'm gonna use my old torn slash cut um, pink uh, glue glue mat, <laughs> my little silicone glue mat. And I'm just going to get a little bit more ink right up here on the top edge of this journal. I mean of this card. So there's that. And for my sentiment, I think I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use one of these in white oh bless your heart that's what we say down here in the south and it means something totally different so <laughs> i'm gonna use that one i think that's cute <laughs> bless your heart i'm gonna ink around the edges of that <laughs> just for some contrast i know it's so tiny and i'm gonna put a little dab of glue on the back of it because it is a sticker but who knows how long it's been in that packaging, just dying to come out and be used. So I just popped a little bit of art glitter glue right on there. And I'm just going to stick it right here at the top. Okay. Get it as straight as you can. Whoops. 
and wipe away any excess ink, I mean, uh, glue that may have seeped out. Okay, so I'm going to start there. That's my base, my starting point. So from there, it's all about just layering, right? So I have this, this inked uh, card. It was a full pumpkin. I've cut it down to it's now it's just the top part of the pumpkin. So I think that looks cute right there. Okay, and then I'm just going to put another card right here on top of it. I'll add my mushrooms down here. And I have a pumpkin for right there. Okay, so that will be a nice little belly band with lots of tuck spaces. So once we get it all um, glued down, this is the tuck spot, that's the tuck spot. These are all just little tiny pockets, okay? So first of all, I'm going to line this top one up close to the top as I can get it. And I'm going to mark right underneath it. That's where my first card is going to go. Okay. Now, Milena used uh, score tape. I just have double-sided tape. It's pretty much the same thing, except score tape, um, I believe, is a little bit more adhesive. And it also comes in a smaller size. I have score tape. I just I have red liner tape, actually. I just don't know where it's at right at the moment. Because I am packing up for uh, my trip and I'm going to the scrapbooking expo out in Mesa, Arizona. Now, some of you may be wondering, like, what? I mean, you live in Orlando, like, or, you know, Central Florida. You could have just went over to the convention center when the scrapbooking um, conference was here, the scrapbooking expo. Actually, it was at Gaylord Palms in uh, Kissimmee. So... I missed that completely like I did not for one did not even know such a thing existed I got um, an email asking me to attend so um, I looked at the email probably two days after the um, expo went on and I'm really bad at checking my emails so yeah I missed it completely so the next best opportunity would be for me to catch the one in Arizona. So I was heading out to Arizona anyway. I just changed my plans, the dates that I'll be attending or going out there. And um, now I'm going to the one in Mesa. So we'll see. I, I've never been to it before. So we'll just see what that's all about. Or as we say in Canada, all about. <laughs> I'm just peeling back my double-sided uh, score tape. I'm going to add just a dab of glue, not much at all. Just a small dab of glue right along that score tape or double-sided tape, if that's what you're using. And I'm just going to fold back my um, score marks just like so to get a nice crease again. And you're going to flip your card over and put a little dab of glue right here in that corner and in this corner. And then you're going to drag a bead of glue all the way across the bottom. And that's so that nothing falls out of that top pocket or any of your pockets for that matter. All right. So here I'm just going to line this back up on the line, the mark that I made. Getting it as straight as I possibly can. And there we have it. One pocket done. That quick. I love the contrast. I think I may have. <laughs> I'm so lazy. I just took this card and dragged it through my ink. <laughs> and so, so yeah. And then, so now I got like really high contrast going on right there. And it came out pretty cool. I like that. All right. So the next one will be this pumpkin. I mean, this uh, mushroom. I believe okay so I'm just gonna place it down here let me just see yep I'm gonna place it down right here and put a little mark right there and again we repeat the same thing just some double-sided tape or score tape if that's what you have cut away the excess repeat on the other side 
Now you'll notice that when you cut your score tape, if you've already cut your angles for the bulk on the flaps, when you cut your score tape, it'll come with a new angle that you can just take to the next piece of paper. Okay, so it's already on that angle right there. So again, repeat. I'm going to burnish down these, this tape and remove the backing. This one has too much tape on there. Okay. So I'm just removing the backing off of the tape with my little pokey tool. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right. So I hope you guys are having a smashingly crafty day. I am again getting ready to hit the road and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. So there will be some crafting along the way. So again, I'm just going to take my little card. Is this straight? Not really. I'm going to place it down on that mark that I made right there. Getting it as straight as I can. Oh, it's a little lower than the mark, but that's okay. And I'm just going to apply some pressure just to get that glue down. Okay, so there's that one. All right, let's move on to the next piece. I think I wanted to use this guy right here. Yep, so he's going to go right there and put a little mark don't go past it this time Nicole add some tape uh-oh I hear my Rosie coming I, I we name everything in our house so we have a little rumba that runs around the house and I hear her I hear her coming her name is Rosie and she's on her way I hope she stays out of my craft room because I have things all over the floor. All right, so that's there. Too long, too wide. Just cut away whatever's too much, right? So you don't have to stress over score tape because we're still adding glue to that as well at least I am because not that I don't trust tape <laughs> I do it's just I feel so much better with glue especially if you want something to last I feel that it'll do so much better with glue mind frame yes I am okay so that's plenty of glue. I am going to put this down directly on that line that I made. And tuck this other side in that way. So these couldn't have gone like any direction. Okay, so they didn't have to go straight across. I could have tore these on an angle. Um, you know, they're, it's versatile. So you can just basically do whatever makes you happy. You don't even have to put another pumpkin down there. Like I can place this little guy down here. I just stamp on some plain old uh, coffee dyed paper, a little mushroom. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't have, doesn't even have to be, um, you know, scrap looking paper or anything. So I'm just doing whatever I had in my, in my uh, scrap. Uh, my box of scraps and um, yeah I just <laughs> I just uh, grabbed a bunch of scraps as you saw in the intro and now I'm just making things with it I'm trying to stay in in focus and so that you guys can see what I'm up to all right okay so here's my final bottom pocket 
And again, all I did was ink around the edges after I cut it to size. Did I even show you guys? Yes, I did. Because I did, um, yeah, I believe I showed you guys the score measurements. Okay, so there's that. And there's my final pocket down there at the bottom. All right, I'm going to use my dry wipes just to get any excess glue that would have oozed out at the bottom here. Okay, and now we have that. Isn't that so sweet? I mean, so sweet. So easy, too. Um, yeah, so there's one. I'm going to tuck a bunch of things into those pockets just to show you uh, what, it, what it can hold. So I just have some... This is a transportation ticket of sorts. Uh, here's some scrapbooking, I mean some uh, book page that I just inked around the edges on this. And that can tuck right in there. And you can even like fold it. I mean, you can do whatever you like really. And then tuck it in like so. I have a key. Now, what is it for? I do not know. I'm going to punch the hole out of it. And if you wanted to, you can probably hang a little dangle from the top here. And now you have something hanging off the edge. That's cute. I'm just going to tuck this key right here at the top. And I will put... Oh, here's a cute little guy. I'll put this little owl back here. And my paper on top of him and I just have little tickets and tags and things I can just tuck in here for demonstration purposes here are some stamps or st stamp shaped items <laughs> it's not a sticker so if you want it to be a stamp you'd have to glue it down okay so that can easily be glued right there so this is just basically a belly band that while I'm working in my junk journal, let's just say on this page right here, this belly band would live right here. It can slide so much behind here, right? So let's just see. I'm just gonna grab some, some journaling cards. I'm not even sure what they are, so don't judge me, okay? I'm just pulling things out of an envelope on my desk. Um, Okay, so apparently it's Halloween stuff. So let's just say, let's just say these were the things I wanted to tuck into my junk journal. That would glue down right there, and this would be what is seen on the edges. So, I mean, super versatile, right, guys? Like, you can do this for any season, any um, any junk journal. So I'm going to do another one that's a little bit longer and different colors okay so this right here is going to be um for my monochrome junk journal now i've done that journal a while ago and um yeah i, I don't know if there's any belly bands in there but i'm gonna make one right now for it all right so i'm just arranging some of my pages to um to see what works and I do want some of that polka dot peeking out up there at the top. So I'll leave some of that there. These are all just scrapbooking paper or um, book, um, paper pack paper that I've already cut down the size and scored it. And um, okay, so I can, and um, inked around the edges. So of course, this is going in my monochrome journal. Let's just say. For example, I didn't round the corners, so that's fine. And um, yeah, I can do that right there. So I'm going to start with the sentiment up at the top. And we we'll use this as happiness. I'm not going to ink it. I'm just 
just going to place it right here. And on my bottom um, pocket, it is pretty. I don't think it needs much, but I will put I will put a little floral stamp just to bring back some of the brown because I did ink around the edges here in brown. So even though it's going in the monochrome journal, I think a little bit of brown would be fine. Oh no, I hear her coming. Stay in the living room. <laughs> Don't come over here, Rosie. All right, so let's just start. And place that one there. I'm just sizing them up. That one there. And this one down here. And that works for me. So I'm going to put a little pencil mark right here. And for time's sake, I'm just going to glue these down. A little bit of art glitter glue. And I hope I didn't say fabric fix at all in this video because I'm not using any of it. This is all art glitter that I'm doing. And art glitter dries really quickly, so you got to be sure of where you're placing your items. Because if it hits the paper, it may tear it on the way up if it's not where you want it to be. <laughs> I've been in that situation so many times where I've had to abandon a project because art glitter is such a strong glue. The glue right in the corner of that, um, that score mark for the gusset and on the very bottom of the page. And I'm not gonna go over my mark By much. <laughs> Here's my dry wipes. Okay, so I'm just wiping up my my uh, glue that may or may not have oozed out during this process. Here's another one for here. Let's just see where this one lands. Perfect. Put a little mark and some glue. These are quick and easy to do. So thank you, Melena, for another brilliant idea. And again, I'm always behind schedule on her M Scrap Busters challenges, but I think it kind of like, it kind of uh, revamps the whole project, right? So she may have done this four weeks ago, and you may have saw it on her channel and wanted to do it, but got 50 million other things going on in your life, just like the rest of us, and forgot. So I'm just bringing back an oldie but goodie for her and showing you guys my take on it so this is what twisted tuesday is really all about you know what my battery died and i had no idea when that happened but this is what i came up with for this cute little belly band um that's going to go into my monochrome junk journal it says this is happiness up here at the top my little sentiment as well as i tucked in a little owl this cute little girl i don't know if you got the story behind it little girl but I'm obsessed with her and uh, this is a little photo of a couple I stuck on here moments with you know it's just one of these little printables and a bottom pocket down here at the very bottom so here I'm just going to tuck in one of these big guys let's see nope that's too big I can tuck in this guy right down here and that fits so perfectly oh yeah so this is why <laughs> my battery died and i didn't notice because say hi dolce say hi so this is my little guy he's uh two pounds or three pounds now um but he's old he's an old guy he's uh an old 13 year old yorkie he has no teeth left on this side of his mouth and um yeah so i just wanted to show you guys him he was in the corner making some noise so i figured well you want to be in the video don't you do you have anything you want to say put my tongue back in my mouth all right say bye bye dolce <laughs>
Yeah, so he is an old 13-year-old toy Yorkie. I've had him for all 13 years since he was probably about six weeks old. So, um, yeah, he's made it this long, and I love him to death. Yeah, that's the noise he was making. So I don't know if you guys heard that prior to me picking him up, but yeah, he was just uh, wagging his tail and shaking himself off. He usually uh, does that when someone picks him up anyway. So anyway, I'm going to pull my owl out and tuck him up here in the top, I think. Does he have room? No, he doesn't. I just want to tuck something in at the top that won't get lost down in the bottom of that top pocket. So it's a little tricky. But yeah, I'm going to tuck the owl back there. Maybe she can go at the top. And when you pull her out, you'll see that little sentiment back there that says this is happiness. All right, guys, listen, I think I've talked plenty for today. I think I've also given you guys lots to work with. So go grab your scraps. Come back and watch this video and make something wonderful. I still have plenty of two inch um, cut off cuts that I can make things with. So I'll probably make a couple of belly bands for my monochrome junk journal. And I still have lots of fall stuff. I can do one with all mushrooms. Oh my gosh. What a brilliant idea. I'm going to do that next. All right, guys. I will talk to you in the next one. Stay naturally curious. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Okay. I really appreciate each and every one of you for being here with me. Spending your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday, <laughs> Saturdays with me. But um, for the most part, I am going to be on the road starting today. So... I will see you guys in the next video. Check out my links, like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!